I started learning the fiddle and the viola was the next step. I suppose I might have been about 20 when I got a viola and that was an easy step because there ultimately it's the same thing, same choreography if you like. And um, later on I took to the cello for a teaching degree that I did and I quite enjoyed the cello because it, it's totally different. It's all upside down. Even it's things like technicality. If I go to play a high note in the fiddle, I do this, but on the cello, I have to do that, you know, so it's complete opposites. And I, I kind of, I quite enjoy playing instruments um, that are hard again, do you know what I mean? So I've enjoyed learning the cello and of course, just being able to play low notes is so fun, having played a sort of screechy violin for many years. And yeah, so I do quite a lot of recording um, where I, I play all four and it's quite good fun. It's four patsies. <laughs> I'm not particularly romantic and I don't, I don't see a beautiful scene and just hear this tune, but I think it kind of, it, it sort of soaks in. So I, I like to go to the place, especially if it's a beautiful place and just relax and kind of just slow down. And I think that in turn means that I'm more likely to come up with something that's that in a way, I mean, it's arguable, but I think I feel like it's come from that place. Yeah.